let's have a glance like what is bar graph and how the questions of bar graph are given in the bar graph you are going to see the data which is projected in vertical or horizontal bar graph so what is bar graph is basically the bar graph is going to consisting of bars so if it is bars are like this bars are like this we are calling this as a vertical bar graph if bars are like this if bars are like this so then we are going to call this as a horizontal bar graph so vertical bar graph and horizontal bar graph are the two uh, broad varieties you can see so basically each and every category will be represented with one bar so if you are working with vertical bar graph the height of the each bar height of the each bar is going to indicate the value so if you are de dealing with a horizontal bar graph the width of the each bar is going to indicate the value of let's try to observe how the questions are projected let's look at the first question which is available on the data so you can just observe as soon as you see the question the first thing which you have to focus is please be focused on the given graph label or the title of the given graph that will gives a clear clarity about the graph so don't forget follow three steps first read the label or the title of the graph that describe what is your graph is about and second check the units whether it is in millions or lakhs or something so there is no information about the unit you can ignore it. and the third step is don't waste your time in reading your data directly look at your question connect your question to the data these are the three steps you just follow so let me look at the first step reading the label or title so if you look at the scores obtained in physics chemistry subjects in a uh, school of the different sections like p q r s different sections like p q r s t is given in the bar graph is given in the bar graph so we can just observe the data scores obtained in physics and chemistry subjects of a school in different sections there is a section p the section q r s and t these are the different sections in section p so 130 is a score in physics 80 is a score in chemistry in section q 120 is a score in physics and 110 is a score in chemistry so like that all the data is given so and the highest score you can able to see 140 so out of 140 the physics is 130 chemistry is 80 so like that all the different section scores are given this this understanding is enough so now what you need to do is directly go to the question and connect the question to the the information which is given in the bar graph so first read the question what is required for you first understand and extract the data from the given graph you can just observe marks obtained by s yes, in chemistry is what percentage of total marks obtained by all the students in chemistry so let's look at what is a marks obtained by s in chemistry so mr s is got 120 marks in chemistry s got 120 marks in chemistry so marks obtained by s in chemistry is 120 e is what percentage of the total marks obtained total marks obtained by all the students in chemistry so you can just observe all the students means so section p 80 and 110 and again 110 and 120 and 60 so i just need to understand what is the sum of all this so you can just observe 80 plus 110 uh, plus 110 it is giving a result as 300 so 300 plus 120 420 420 plus 60 the total marks obtained by all the students in chemistry is uh, 480 and the section s got 120 the question here is 120 is what percentage of 480 so we can say 120 by 480 is going to be the required percentage so we can say this is going to give a result as 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 is nothing but 25 percentage we can mark the answer choice as going to be option 1 we can mark the answer choice as going to be option 1 let's look at one more question which is projected here so the question here is if the marks obtained by t in physics is increased by 14 percentage then what would be the approximate new percentage in physics when the maximum score is 140 understand the question properly first of all 
if the marks obtained by T in physics is increased by 14 percentage. My dear students, first observe what is the marks obtained by T in physics first of all. So, Mr. T in physics, the marks obtained is 50. So, first let me write that. So, 50 is a score and it is increased by 14 percentage. So, that means what is 14 percentage of 50? Let me calculate first. 14 percentage of 50 is nothing but 7. That means instead of 50, if the score is increased by 14 percentage, now the score of T in physics is 57. So, then what is the new approximate percentage in physics when the maximum is 140? That means we can say 57 is a score obtained out of 140 marks. 57 is a score obtained out of 170 marks. So, what is this? You just need to calculate. What is this? You just need to calculate. So, I can uh, directly say, so one, you have to calculate what is 57, 57 divided by 140. Calculate this further and mark your answer choice. And they are asking approximate value. So, my dear students, please observe. Just for simplification, I am taking this as 56 by 140. Any change in the value? Only the thing is approximately 57, I am taking it as 56 just for sake of calculation. So, what is 56? 14 fourths are 56. Can I take it as 4 by 10? And what is 4 by 10, my dear students? 4 by 10 is 40 percent. So, I have taken 57 as 56. So, that's the reason it is not going to be 40. It will be little more than 40, but close to 40 percentage. So, we can definitely say that the marks obtained by physics uh, right now will be 41 percentage at close. So, you can mark your answer choice as option 2. So, let's look at one more question which is projected here. So, what is the ratio between the total marks obtained by Q and S together in chemistry? So, let me go back to the data and try to understand Q and S in chemistry. So, where is Q? Q is here. S is here. Chemistry 110, chemistry 120. Q and S in chemistry 110 plus 120. What is the total score? It is going to be 230. So, the total marks obtained by P and R in chemistry, physics. P and R in physics. P is here. P is here. R is here. What is the score in physics? 130. What is the score in physics? 80. What is 130 plus 80? This is going to be 210. So, the question here is, what is the ratio between these two? That means 230 is a score and 210 is a score. So, what is the ratio between these two? 23 is to 21. 23 is to 21. So, which is available as option 3, you can mark it as answer text. Which is available as option 3, you can mark it as answer text.